Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on estimating a total from a grouped frequency table. Let's look at this example. Jack records the running times of athletes and then we've got these different ranges here. So that just means a time, a time in X seconds, between 80 and 90 seconds. And remember frequency just means how common something occurs. So how many of those athletes had that time. So we've got two athletes with a time between 80 and 90 seconds. We've got three athletes with a time between 90 and 100, etc. And we want to estimate the total time of the runners. Now, the reason why we're estimating the time and not calculating the time is because those two runners, we know each of them had a time between 80 and 90 seconds, but we don't know exactly what their times were. And because we don't know the original data, because it's grouped into these ranges, we can only estimate what the total time is. We can't actually work out the exact total time. Now, these two athletes, we know they had a time somewhere between 80 and 90, but as I said, we don't know what those times were. But what would be a sensible guess, like on average, of what each of those athletes' time was between 80 and 90 seconds? Well, it might be helpful to just assume the middle of that range. So 80 to 90, the middle of that range would be 85. So without knowledge of what those athletes' times were, we can assume those two athletes got a time of 85 seconds each. And it might be that one of them got a sort of a time of 83 seconds and the other one with a time of 87 seconds, but we kind of expect them to average out at 85 seconds. So without that knowledge, that seems like a common sense guess of what their times might have been. Now we're going to add a total column. And if we've got two athletes, each with a time of 85 seconds, if we just assume it's 85 seconds, what was their total time? Well, we can just do two lots of 85, so 2 times 85, which is 170 seconds. I'm not going to bother with the unit yet, I'm going to put the unit on my final answer at the end. And let's do the same with the next row. We've got three athletes with a time of between 90 and 100 seconds. Now, we don't know what their time was, but we're just going to assume that each of them averaged at the sort of like middle of 90 to 100, so the midpoint. So we take the midpoint of 90 to 100, and we're just going to assume that each athlete had a time of 95 seconds. Again, it might be somewhere below that, somewhere above that, but we hope that they average out at 95 seconds each. So three athletes, each with a time of 95 seconds, their total time will just be three times 95, which is 285 seconds. And then we'll just repeat the same for the next few rows. 100 to 110, what's halfway between 100 and 110? Well, it's 105. So we just do 105 times 6. I'm not going to write the calculation this time, but we get 630. And then finally, what's halfway between 110 and 120? Well, it's 115. Four athletes got a time of, let's just say, 115 seconds. So we do 4 times 115, and we get 460. So... We've estimated the total time of these two athletes. The, we've estimated the time, the total time of these three athletes, etc. We've got those total times, and we want to find the grand total of all those times. So now we just need to add those together, and we get 1,545. And what was the unit? It was seconds, so I'm just going to put sex for short. And that is the final answer.